Hello and welcome to this little video where I'm going to show you how to fix an issue inside of Blender rendering with Octane. Um, the issue is the following. You have created a beautiful animation inside of Blender with Octane and everything looks fine playing out in the viewport as you can see right here. But as soon as we want to render out an animation we can see that the first frame looks perfectly fine. Everything works as intended. But when this um, first frame is finished rendering and denoising, we can see that on the second frame, our object now is not visible anymore. And this continues through every other frame following the first. So. How can we fix that? Because of course we want to um, see our animation playing out in the render as well. In order to fix it, we have to select the object that is not showing up in the render anymore. And in my case, it's this cube that I have modified with ge geometry nodes, as you can see down here. And uh, in order to fix this issue, we have to go down here in the uh, object properties panel. And under here, you can see we have our transform values for location, rotation, and scale. And if we scroll down here, we will find the tab saying Octane settings. And this is where we have to change something in order, in order to um, yeah, solve this issue. Because under object type, um, by default, it was set to scatter for me. Um, it could be different for you, but in my case, it was set to scatter. And we have to change this for movable proxy. Okay, so now we have changed that. So let's try rendering out our animation. And as we can see, the first frame is still looking the same, everything as it was in our first attempt. But when we are ready with denoising, we can see that also in all the following frames, the object is now visible. And this basically is all you have to do in order to fix this issue. I hope I could help you with this little video. Um, I didn't figure out myself how this worked. I will blend in a comment or, or basically a, a comment on this problem uh, from the Otoy um, forum, I think where somebody pointed out this uh, um, fix for the issue. And um, yeah, I hope I could help you with this little video because on YouTube, I wasn't able to find a video explaining how to solve this issue. And uh, it took me quite a, some research and um, yeah, basically a little bit of more time to find this solution. So I hope um, you're able to um, continue your work inside of Blender and Octane much quicker. So thank you for watching. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing. See you next time.